Good day, guys. It's a P60 knowledge for us, and today we'll be talking about Professor Thomas Adesanya Ige Grillo. Okay, he was the first professor of anatomy in Nigeria. Okay, so we'll be talking about um, his biography and his contributions to um, medical studies or the study of anatomy in Nigeria and Africa at large. Okay. So today, God was talking about Professor Thomas Adesanya Ige Grillo, okay? And this is the MBBS Niger. If you love how we do our lectures, kindly do give us a subscription, okay? So this is it. Now let's talk about Professor Thomas Adesanya Ige Grillo. Okay. So you can see um, from this picture, this is him. Okay. This is him. So Professor Thomas... Adesanya Ige Gliru was born in Lagos on the 29th January 1927 to the illustrious Grillo family. So that's probably his family was like a popular family too, okay? So he attended the Baptist Academy, Lagos, for his primary education and the Hope Wardell Training Institute, Calaba, from there, okay? Uh, okay, Calabar. So from there, he proceeded to the Norwich City College, Norfolk, England. Okay, so this man actually schooled abroad too. All right. So he trained at the at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, where he obtained his certificate in 1955. All right. He was appointed supervisor at the St John's Magdalene and Trinity Colleges of the University of Cambridge, England, from. Um, 1955 to um, 1960. Okay, he served there. Okay, as a supervisor. Moving forward, you could see this is um, this should be Adesanya Grillo, right by the side. I could see a white man handing over his certificate. So back in the day, bro, it was more of like white people were like the ones passing us knowledge directly. Okay, so we always we are always grateful for them. Okay. So following, he also obtained simultaneously. Um, he obtained simultaneously the BA, okay. That's um, I think that should be Bachelor of Arts, Masters in Arts, and PhD degrees of the Saint John's College, Cambridge, in 1960. So thereafter, he was appointed a lecturer in the Department of Anatomy, St. Mary's Hospital at the University of London. That was in 1960. Okay. And also, he was an assistant professor at the Department of Anatomy and Pediatrics. Okay. The Medical School and the University of Stanford. That's USA in 1961. Okay. So I would say this man, he actually went out and studied outside, okay, and he actually conquered some grounds outside before he returned home to actually spread the good news of anatomy. So he returned home, that's in Nigeria, to the University of Ibadan in 1961 as a lecturer and rose to become the first Nigerian professor, okay, of anatomy, okay, in Ibadan, okay, in 19, between 1962 to 19... 64 all right so he was the first professor of anatomy in nigeria all right so this was his picture i think these were like his old days okay before he died so he was uh he was in ibadan as a professor of anatomy when he answered the call to establish the medical school of ile ife so in 1972 he became the foundation dean foundation professor and head Division of Human Biology and Behavior, okay? Division of Human Biology and Behavior, okay? Of the Faculty of Health Sciences. That was University of Ife. He also, he died in Cambridge in 1998. Um, he had his first class honors in pharmacology in 1953. He published his PhD thesis titled a histochemical study of the carbohydrate metabolism in chick embryo. Okay, so this was a um, work he did during his um, PhD studies. Let me go again. A histochemical study of carbohydrate metabolism in chick embryo. All right. So Professor Ige Grillo was the first trained Nigerian anatomist 
and pioneer the training of true anatomists as it is practiced internationally. Let me shed more light on this. Okay, you know he's good outside. He also walked outside, so he had that experience of how white people were actually taking the process. Okay, so he came and introduced this knowledge to Nigeria and Africa at large. So he introduced the intercalated BSc program in anatomy and also the PhD in anatomy. Okay, so the Afro already shed more light on that. He basically came to introduce the working, the system that was already working for the white people. All right, he came to introduce it to his Nigerian brothers and Africa at large. So, uh, beneficiaries of the programs that he introduced as the BSc programs and the PhD programs were um, Professor ABO Desalu and uh, Professor D. Baxter Grillo. Okay, these two benefited from his. Um, from what he introduced to um, the Nigerian education system. Okay, these were just notable to these were like the first people to benefit. Okay, because all of us are beneficiaries of uh, Professor Ige Grillo. Okay, because I've studied anatomy for over two years now. If it was not for Professor Ige Grillo, maybe I would have studied anatomy, but not the way I studied. Okay. So we have to be always thankful to the founding fathers, okay? He did made a bold step, okay? For going out, all right, where he didn't know, studying, having to work there for many years, that means he developed good relationship with all those people, okay? So he's someone we look up to. And this is the biography of uh, Professor Thomas Adesanya Ige Grillo and his contributions to anatomy, all right? So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.